The collision of a giant comet with the Earth is one of the most violent and cataclysmic events that could befall our planet. It has happened in the past, but the odds of another such catastrophe have remained uncertain. Now astronomers have performed the cosmic equivalent of a risk assessment. A new paper calculates how often stars stray into the Oort cloud, a vast, spherical shell of billions of icy objects that is thought to envelop our solar system. Such close encounters can dislodge these loosely orbiting comets, sending them hurtling into the solar system, risking a collision course with the Earth. Within the next million years, the paper predicts between 19 and 24 stars will come within 3, 26 light years of the Sun, sufficiently close to deflect comets markedly from their original paths. Certainly anything coming within that distance you should worry about, said Corin Baylor-Jones, of the Max Planck Institute for Astronomy in Heidelberg and the paper's author. Not all close encounters would lead to comets hitting the Earth, this would depend on a mixture of luck and on where the Earth is in its orbit relative to the passing star, but the chances of a collision would peak at these time points. Graph A further 490 to 600 stars will pass the Sun within a distance of 16, 3 light years within the next million years, the paper estimates. This is far beyond the predicted outer reaches of the Oort cloud, but in the case of a very large star, still potentially close enough to cause comets to swerve in their tracks. The Oort cloud has never been observed directly, but scientists have inferred its existence because the comets we see in the night sky would have disintegrated or sublimed long ago if they had always been in their current orbits. So scientists believe they must spend most of their existence in an outer reservoir and get kicked inwards by passing stars. Theoretical models suggest the Oort cloud spans from as close as 2,000 astronomical units. One astronomical unit is the Earth-Sun distance, to as far as 200,000 astronomical units.